Tell Good planning here. Just flipping around. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 we're saving money. Has, have things gone well ever since? I know you'll have a problem on Tuesday getting here, but other than that, have, uh, has things pretty much uh, gone as you hoped? Oh, th things are going fine. I, I think the players are uh, enjoying themselves. Uh, we sure appreciate the New Orleans Bowl inviting us. Uh, I thought our team was well deserving of a bowl bid, and there was some question whether, whether we were going to get one near the end of the season, and they were kind enough to invite us, and we appreciate it, and we hope to put on a good show for them. What's your reaction to New Orleans and everything you've seen in the hospitality? Well, I've only been here a couple times, and I would say 90% of our players have never, maybe 90% of our players have never been out of the state of California. Uh, but we've heard a lot of things about New Orleans so far. It hasn't disappointed. I mean, the people are friendly. Hospitality is great. Uh, the people running the bowl are super. Uh, now, I'm not allowing them to enjoy some of the things, obviously, because they, they got to be in bed at on time and they got to be ready to play a game. Time's curfew, Coach. Uh, last night was 11. Tonight's 11. Tomorrow will be 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Strike your flight your first year head coach here, the other first year head coach you're facing, two different situations. We talk about what you, you know, what you guys have been able to accomplish in your first year, what you've seen from, from the other side. Well, I, I was lucky enough to be on the staff uh, that started, this is our third year. I thought there's been some uh, tremendous strides being made uh, over e each year that we improved each year. Uh, last year we had one of those teams that uh, had a lot of talent, played very, very well, and with the, uh, each win gained some confidence, uh, gained some notoriety, and everybody was just happy and, and uh, into the team because they hadn't won in so long. We got a bowl bid last year and everybody was excited about the bowl bid. It doesn't, didn't matter who we played or anything like that. This year it's been a completely different situation. The season started with high expectations. Uh, they, uh, if you didn't win where they, when they thought you were supposed to win, people were upset. Uh, if you didn't win by as much as you were supposed to win, people were upset. I mean, we have the same record, but if you, if you uh, got the, you don't even get near close to the same feeling as was last year. I think a team, it's harder on a team when those expectations are there and you have to perform at a good enough level to get to a bowl game. So I'm proud of our team. Now, what I see uh, with uh, Louisiana is that uh, they're like we were last year. Started the season with no expectations, started playing really, really well, got better and better each week. Fan support increased, uh, confidence increased, and they're a very, very good football team right now. And their fan base is really, really excited. Uh, they've bought a lot of tickets, and so this is going to be a home game for them. Can you compare your situation last year with getting a chance to play a bowl game at home with their situation I, now, and it's going to be essentially a home game for them? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it makes me really nervous because, uh, in my opinion, it's exactly the same situation in reverse. I mean, someone asked me the other day, well, you guys have bowl experience. Well, you guess what? Navy, we, ble we beat Navy last year. Navy's had a whole bunch of bowl experiences, and it didn't matter because we were at home. It was our crowd. Our kids were excited. Our kids were confident. Our kids played well, and we had a good time and won the game. Coach, if you I, can, I see all the advantages to them right now. Excuse me, Coach. Uh, if you can, talk about your secondary. These guys, uh, 11th in the nation in takeaway from what your defense is, uh, held, held quarterbacks under 100 yards passing four times. Um, talk about what they've meant to your team this year. <laughs> I love it. I, uh, our, our secondary is okay. I mean, uh, uh, it's funny. It, it's funny how the questions come out, to be honest with you, because we held uh, three teams under 100 yards passing because they were triple option teams. At the same time, back home, they're asking me, how come we're playing such lousy run defense? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, when they run the ball 60 times in a game and you hold them to under four yards of carry, but they still have 300 yards rushing and someone's asking you, how come you play lousy run defense? And then you hold a wishbone team under 100 yards pass and they go, boy, you got a great secondary. You really stopped the pass well. Well, if they don't throw it, we can stop it. I promise you, if they won't throw it, we'll stop the pass. If they promise not to throw it, we'll stop the pass. So, uh, no, our secondary is okay. Uh, you know, we... we uh, I think our kids understand our scheme now because we've been in the same scheme for three years. I, 
I don't think we're exceptionally talent, talented. Uh, we play hard, and when you play hard, good things happen. What impresses you most, Coach, about this raging Cajun team? Uh, how, how much time do you have? Uh, they had 11 guys make all conference. Uh, the freshman of the year is a running back. The quarterback was second team all conference, probably should have been first team all conference. If they would have won the conference championship, he would have been the first team all conference quarterback. Uh, their offensive line's big and strong. One of them made first team all conference. Uh, their wide receiver is the best wide receiver in their league. Uh, the tight end might be the best tight end in the country, will be the highest draft choice, uh, probably a very high draft choice. Uh, they've got eight or nine starting seniors on defense. I mean, uh, I know they don't get the same notoriety as some other schools in this state, uh, but they're a great football team. I don't think they started out that way, but I think they've gained the confidence now. If you watch their last three or four games they played, they're, they're confident, they're talented, they're playing, they're coached really, really well. They're enthusiastic. I mean, what else? Coach, you guys are the favorite supposedly with the numbers, but the, it's because where you live closer to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you tell your team about that uh, coming into a game like this where there's going to be a lot of uh, vermilion and red, uh, vermilion and white in the stands? Uh, you know, I, we preach to our team and I, I think we're still really in the building process of our program. Uh, and as you're building something, uh, the one thing you have to if you want to be one of the big boys, if you want to be really good, you got to learn that to play the same. You have to learn to play well, and you have to learn it to play at that same level, no matter who you play, no matter where you play them, no matter what the situation is. So, if you want to be a good program, it doesn't matter who the crowd's for. I mean, we played a, in front of a hundred and some thousand. They were all for the other team. Now, I don't, I don't know how well we played. We played okay most of the game, but uh, if you want a good program, your teams have to learn to play. Wherever you play, no matter what the crowd is, no matter who the team is. Thank you guys.